All right, we are rolling. Ready to do this shit? I you hear I you? myself in the echo. Oh, hang on. Let's fix that real quick. All right. Shit. I'm ready. God damn mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just want to get that out the way. <laughs> it's a new day. <laughs> and I'm right. feeling good. All right, stand by. Okay. Uh, coming down in three. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. Who gives a fuck? I can't be personally kick Candace Owens and her stinky cray cray. No good thing starts with I was thinking about my ex. He ain't learned his lesson. That's a brother ain't gonna learn shit. I know this is gonna be a problem. Let's keep this shit funky. <laughs> <laughs> What's crackulating, good people? What's happening? What's unpopping? Welcome to the unpopping show, home of unpopular opinions. I am the one T Storm, and right off the back, you may notice this looks a little different. Um, but what do you mean? But I'm like right swim. Well, well, I haven't introduced <laughs> you yet. Stand by. Hang on a second. <laughs> Uh, Mike Swift will not be on the show today. We'll talk about it a little later on today. But um, I have a very special guest. My sister's here. She's radio royalty. She's hip hop royalty. Give it up for the one and only Princess Ivory. Yay. What do you mean? I'm Mike Swift. I like Swift too. He's, I, he, well, I, no, I'm I'm Mike Swift. You're Mike Swift. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, welcome, damn it. I don't think I'm hearing you through your microphone, by the way. Really? Tap it real quick. Just tap your mic. This. Yep. Nope. We're not hearing you through your microphone. This is all oh, happening crap. in real time, people. Nothing that hasn't changed. Um, before we go any further, as Mike Swift would say, pay the cost of admission. Make sure you uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you are notified each and every time. New content is available for you. Um, as I was saying, I'll address the elephant in the room, or the the the, the miniature, the, the the miniature shortened stature elephant. That's no, no. That, that that no. no. Okay, sorry, I tried. Um, the princess in the room. Our good friend uh, Mike Swift is. Uh, has moved on. Um, he's gone to where all uh, short men go when they leave the common riff raft. <sighs> Corporate America. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not dead. I'm just saying. Cheers. Mike, get the check. Right. Get the check. Mike has moved on. He got a, he got a great promotion, great opportunity, and um. He's still a part of the show. He's still an uh, executive producer and, of course, co-creator of the show. And, well, I think I can get him to pop on from time to time, but uh, no longer in the capacity as co-host. So uh, we'll be having a series of uh, different um, peoples on, you know, on the show from time to time coming up. And hopefully if I don't act too stuff. much of a donkey, I'll get, get fighting. But at once. Well, I mean, you know, you know how to do this, though. But in any case, Princess Ivory is here. I wish y'all could hear me through my mic. I know, me too. You know what I mean? But we got at least we can hear you. Yeah, that's true. This 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 little feat that we're doing right now. Um, uh, before we stop, before Mike, um, you know, parted from the show. He was not able to accomplish what I accomplished today. And so, <laughs> wait, no. <laughs> and that's uh, Mike's laugh. He's still with us in spirit. <laughs> wait, I think I can switch my mic. I'm going to try it. You going to try it in real time? Let's how about now? This, 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 we do this on, this is how we do the show anyway. Like, <laughs> we, we experiment as so you fit right in. You're doing exactly, you know. Um, 
Princess Ivory. So, so for those who are, may be familiar or may not be familiar, Princess Ivory is radio royalty. She is also hip hop royalty. Princess Ivory um, was also actually. Oh, when I moved to Atlanta. Um, I know this story. I was there. I know this story. I, I, I love this story. Okay, so I was being, I was doing imaging for a company called On Mic Productions, and but my desire was to be on radio, and um, a programmer by the name of Steve Hegwood gave me opportunity to get on the air and 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 mix, and Cheers. it was New Year's Eve. I walk into the studio with my crates, and who do I see sitting behind the board is none other than Princess Ivory. And so we did New Year's Eve together. What was that ninety six? 95 going to 96. I think it was 95 going into 96. Yeah. And um yeah. we have been we 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 have been friends ever since. So it's really yeah. it's really cool to uh I mean are, how many years is that? We won't I, mean, I, I can't even do the math. Don't do it. <laughs> it's been a long time. It was before I had kids. So yeah, it was 27 years. Jeez. Okay, you had to put the number on it. Um but yeah, yeah. So we, we, you know, I, I was impressed with Ivory because I, you know, I, I don't have the tape anymore. But Ivory was able to, you know, as I was mixing and and going into instrumentals, Ivory was very comfortable and and with the timing to be able to, if anybody if familiar with radio, um, to be able to jump and and do a talk breaks right as I dropped the instrumentals for you know for her to talk for the talk breaks, and she was like right on time. There was no space in between. I dropped the instrumental. She was right on top of it, and then. You know, I was able to drop a song as she was coming out the break. It was, it was like instant chemistry, and we, you know, kind of been rocking. It was dope. Sense. Yeah, so it was I, dope. But also, <laughs> we found out that we had some 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 family in 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 common. Um, Fred Bugs, radio legend yes. here in New York City. Um, Bugsy, what up, Bugs? Um, That's my unk. Also, uh, Chuck, chill out. Chuck, chill out was the one that was like, I don't even remember how Chuck's name came up. If you mentioned Chuck or you mentioned Bugsy, I think it was because you were coming from BLS. Yes. Okay. Right. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. And yeah. so and so Chuck was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, this Ivory. You know, he had some records out back in the days." And I was like, "Really? What records?" And he told me the records, and I didn't. It didn't dawn on me exactly until much later on conversations Ivory and I had um, that she was a, a verified hip hop artist. Hey. This is Prince Zari. <laughs> it's called Wanted. I don't know. Shout out to my cousin Joy singing the hook. Oh, wow. <laughs> How's it feel to hear your music? Like, it feels good. I got the play. I the, produced that. You produced this? Man I produced it. I produced it. My back, my back and legs when they're tired. I really don't want to do the lions, Chichi. No, who you are. I don't want to get any any copyright uh, strike, so I'm going to have to bring it I down. I own it. Well, <laughs> YouTube is still... YouTube don't give a damn. <laughs> YouTube, I own the rights to that music. Listen, I, I've had this fight with YouTube before <laughs> with stuff that I've produced and put on there, and they'll strike it. They'll be like, yo, this is my stuff. Matter of fact, the record right. did with, uh, with Ty. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's my record. What you right. That, that's my son. You yeah, understand? Right. My joy, man. So, but yeah, Ivory. Yeah. So, um, we were talking yesterday before we did the show, and Ivory said, "So that's one of our records." Yeah, there's another record called Crack Pipe. Um, I re- and I remember Crack Pipe because it was the it was the same melody as uh, who who had to um, Kid and Play had last night change it all. Last night change it yeah. all. So I used the Crack Pipe change. I said yeah, the Crack, said crack Pipe, pipe change, change it, all. it all. And then Boogie, and Boogie Down Productions um, did. Scott Lorraine had a ball. He is the super hoe. That, so I remember yes. those records all at the same time. They they all played, yeah. you know, on the radio back then. And mm-hmm. um, I got to play it on the radio on my, on my on my show here in New York on 94.7 The Block. And there was people that, you know, when I reposted it, it was like, yo, I remember this joint. It was like, yo, I hadn't heard this in a while. Um, That's so good. Thank you very much, by the way. You're very welcome, man. I'm just, hey, first of all, it, it's 50 years of hip hop. And we want to, we want to make every we want to make sure everybody gets their shine. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. You know, but you was telling me a story. 
about how you figured out that um, Wanted was a, a big record. Do you, how did you figure it? It was a big record across seas, you said. No? Right. Okay. So tell me about that. So Crack Pipe was a street hit mm-hmm. in New York and, you know, around the country. And I was able to do like East Coast tours and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I recorded, I produced and recorded Wanted. Mm-hmm. And how I found out it was a big record in Europe because the record company was like, it's not selling Ivory, it's not doing very well at all. Oh. <laughs> the record company said that? There's like, nah, it's not just, yeah, we have to cut out law. It's not doing well. I was wow. like, oh man, I thought that was a hit. Like, man. So. <laughs> Sound effects is going to come in and out from time to time. Just, just, just unmute yourself, Ivory. You just muted yourself. Unmute yourself. <laughs> there you go. I was trying to stop from the clock. Wait. <laughs> People might. Because as old as I am, somebody, meaning nobody ever, but somebody told me to keep having babies. Oh. <laughs> and no one ever said that. But. Listen, folks, by the way, um, my goal today is to make Ivy laugh hard enough for our lashes to come off. I'm trying. I should have never mentioned it to you. That's my goal today. Just want you to know. So I'm on a mission just to let you know. But continue, please. So, uh, yeah, I have a 32-year-old and a 6-year-old. The 6-year-old got me sick, and I'm getting over this bronchitis cough. But anyway, the 32-year-old was with me at Peppa's baby shower. A pepper, our salt children, and pepper, by the way. Pepper. So our children are just months apart. Okay. So Crystal at the time was an infant. I mean, so little that I mean, she was maybe like a month or two old. Mm-hmm. Hey, Crystal. And who is viral yeah, on TikTok, a, by the way. She's hilarious. Oh, she's, her videos are hilarious. My baby's a crack up. I wonder where she gets <laughs> that from. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working. Uh-huh. Stop, Storm. <laughs> Said no one ever. Right. Anyway, right. so I'm at Peppa's baby shower. Uh-huh. And by the way, I have to say that I gave Peppa the best baby shower gift anyone's ever given anyone. Well, and can you can you say what that gift was? It was a male stripper. That was me. I did it. I, I can imagine that she would have enjoyed that for some reason. I just, I just, for some reason, I just see that. I feel like she would have really enjoyed that. Okay. Yep. Okay. It, uh, actually, it wasn't just me. It was a, it was a joint gift. Oh. Uh, at the time, I was married to Silver Spinner from. Um, and if the dancer was a, if the dancer was a stripper, it was a gift with a joint. <laughs> Sorry, I can't resist. <laughs> so anyways mm-hmm. so after the male stripper mm-hmm. and and uh sandy's mother kept yelling sandy it's a horse it's a horse <laughs> what <laughs> okay moving along now <laughs> <A horse. laughs> okay Okay, so what had happened was what had happened was so the entire time, Moni Love is staring at me. Hey, Moni, and I'm thinking it's gonna be some beef. What? <laughs> okay, uh, is this the New York what you looking at thing? Kind of. Well, you know, me and Latifa, initially me and Latifa was really really cool, mm-hmm. and then somewhere in there something happened. I know what happened, but we won't go there. Okay. And um, she and I weren't cool anymore. And I didn't figure it out until she let me know we weren't cool. Oh, okay. So um, I knew her and Moni were close. Got it. And so I was just like, oh, some bullshit at a baby shower, really. But she was, she was staring at me, like constantly. Every time I looked her way, she's looking at me. Mm-hmm. So um, I went into one of the bedrooms to nurse Crystal. She's that little. Okay. And Moni came. 
like toward me. I'm thinking like, oh God. (laughs) (laughs) So I figured, let me nip this in the bud before she approaches me. So I actually approached her first and I was like, how you doing, Moni? Nice to meet you. Um, And she stopped me. She said, I know who you are. I was like, really? Have we met before? She said, no, you're Princess Ivory. I'm like, yeah, nice to meet you. She's like, oh, nice to meet you too. You don't know how big you are. <laughs> She's like, no, I still live in London and your record is huge. What? It's like number two. Wow. What? She's like, yeah, I recognize you from the video. And I'm, I'm looking at you wondering like what you're doing here. Aren't you from London? No. <laughs> wow. No, I'm from Queens. <laughs> wow. So she actually brought it. She had happened to have a magazine with her, our magazine, and opened up the chart and was like, look. Wow. Top of the pops. I was number two. Okay. This- and the number one record happened to use the same beat that is on one. I got the power. I got the power. Wow. So I had a conversation with the owner of my record company. I don't know if our relationship has ever been the same after that. Well, I, I would imagine. If, if so, it, okay. He cut a check. Oh, he did? Yes. <laughs> Good word. Okay, well, that So was- for the people who may recognize me from uh, the documentary that was done on my aunt, Deb Antney. Right. right. Hip Hop Uncovered. Mm-hmm. My uncle is the infamous Dirty Red. So I just. Enough said. Do you, <laughs> do you want my uncle to come? And he's like, oh, no, no, no. You have to check right away. Wow. <laughs> no problems. I want that smoke. I'm good. And I got a release. Oh, off the label. Oh, yeah. It's the, oh, wow. So a check and a release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Hip hop royalty, man. Uh, Hip hop 50, 50 years this year. Um, <sighs> it was really cool. Uh, so it's it, okay. I made 50 this year. So it's kind of cool that I'm the same age as hip hop and kind of, you know, kind of grew, literally grew up with it. So, um, yeah. but there were things that, you know, coming up that I wasn't, I wasn't really privy to. I I wasn't in the clubs. As a kid, I didn't get I didn't get a chance to really experience, you know, uh, the fever. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying I didn't. Neither did I. You know, I, I stuff like yeah. that. So, but it's kind of cool. But you know, to kind of grow up alongside of it and to experience it uh, around the country because I got to I li- you know I lived in Florida for a while. I finished right. high school in Florida. I, I I I started my radio career in Florida. Came to New York, went to Atlanta. I was in Pitt, so I got to see all these other markets and stuff. Oh wait, so you didn't get the chance? Now I never did the fever, but you never got a chance to do Latin quarters. Latin quarters, Latin quarters, Latin quarters. No, I don't know. I don't think so. That was the time. I don't think. I, I don't think so. I. I. There, there was. Well, let me see. There was a club I went to as a teen. My grandfather let me out. And I forget where it was. I forget where it was, but all I what I do remember about this place, I want to. Say, I can't remember the name of it, but they had these big screens in the club, and I remember the song. I remember es la loca, es la loca, da. and when they they played that right, when they played that, um, uh. The screens, big screens came down out of the ceiling and it was like uh, pornography playing on the screen. So it was, it was, um, it was, I was a teenager at the time. I had never really seen anything like that before. And it was mostly teenagers in this particular club because I, I wasn't carded to go in. I just kind of went in. And just for the Where were you, in Brooklyn? This was in Manhattan. It was in, it was in the city somewhere. So I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what that club was, but I didn't get. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. Somehow I feel like it's Mars. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't even want to say a name because I don't remember it at all. I just remember the experience, and I was that, that's an experience. Yeah, just 
they scream. I mean, I'm talking about in the club. The, the system is banging, and these, you know, the the, the silk screen comes down, and, and the porn is popping. Porn is popping. Like <laughs> fast forward to the good part. Like yo, whoa. Okay. <laughs> This is what happens, in, and I think that was like my first nightclub as a teen. I went to. Oh, I had went to like I had been to like the teeny like teen clubs and stuff. My mom took me or let me go to when I was younger. But, they ruined your innocence. But seeing going to see that that was it, it, that was that was interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's hip hop. Um, so there's a bunch of things happening. It's <laughs> what about the Q Club? Or no, no Encore. I don't remember where that Did you was. Encore. I don't encore know. was in Queens. Nah, I didn't. I I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Queens girl. I wasn't hanging out in Queens. I went to school in Queens. I went to August Martin. Mm. I went to August. I won't Martin. hold that against you. You hold that I went against to Jackson. Me? I won't. Oh, I, oh wow. Them, them Martin used to beat Jackson ass every time. Like, no, no. We used to be doing other way football. around the football team. Other, other way around the basketball team. No, you sure? Jackson will whoop up on August Martin every chance he got. I don't know. Yeah, we're state champions. Okay, I, I don't. Rem- I don't remember. You, I went. To, you know the games I went to. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the game. I was into the girls. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> so, um, I never went to any games. <laughs> none. I think I went to one. None. No. I think I went to one. But in any case, moving on. So, uh a bunch of things happening in the news. I want to get your take on some of these things. Um Tucker Carson and uh Don Lemon both fired or both announced that they were fired on the same day. Tucker Carson from Fox News. It's Don Lemon. That I can see. Why did they fire Don Lemon? I I, I like him. I there's plenty of people that did. He I mean there were, okay, so there was something I saw. Let me see if I can find it real quick. There was a there was an interview, <laughs> allegedly, that was at is at the root of Don being let go, and I don't know how true it is, but I, I found it I I find it funny that um he got fired and uh, Rick Ross offered him a job at a. Uh, <laughs> At um at the wing spot, what's it? Was it? Listen, said so, you know what he, he said. Yeah, I, I, I believe you know what you're doing at the <laughs> with them lemon pepper wings. So, uh, <laughs> shut up, Storm. That's not true. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, you don't believe me? Hold on. No, I don't believe you. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. say. I'm gonna say to you like I say to my. Six year old son cash. Be honest. <laughs> he offered him a job. At the wing spot. You don't believe me. Hold on. Mm-mm. Just found out Don Lemon was terminated from CNN. Damn, Don. <laughs> but guess what? The brothers got your back. We hiring in that wing stop. <laughs> and for some reason, I believe you know what you're doing. With them lemon pepper wings. So, man, just sent over your resume. Well, <laughs> 17 years. Damn. But I'm going to make sure I, I get you in front of the right grill, brother. Stay solid, brother. Just came up with a wonderful idea. Well, really, Don, you helped me come up with this. But I need to hit the team over at Rap Star Energy Drink and let them know we should introduce the Don Lemon flavor. Don Lemon. What y'all think? What y'all think? Hey, Don, I'm going to bust it. Hey, we got you, brother. Don Lemon. Did you just hold my Yeah, keep the key mic with <laughs> Keep Mike alive. Keep keep. <laughs> instead of keep hope, keep Mike alive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love Mike's laugh too. Yeah, That's hilarious. 
But yeah, he offered him he offered him a a, a job at the What a great spot. way. What a great way for Rick Ross to say that he's shorthanded at his chicken spot. Man, they was talking about they was running out of chicken or running out of the wings. I don't know if that's true. But in any case, but the interview that uh, allegedly um got uh John fired. Let's see if I can if is this it? No, that's not it. Don't let me pick up my phone, my phone and, and see why they can fire Don Lemon. I like Don Lemon. Yeah, I, I can't find it right now. Anderson Cooper's my gay boyfriend, though. <laughs> he is. My husband knows it too. I need to have I need to have Anderson Cooper's um, laugh on 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 a button. His laugh when he loses it. Oh my god! Oh my god! And don't let him be drunk. It is the best. I, it is the best. Like hit him, and then him. What's the other kid? Andy Cohen. Him and Andy Cohen together are no good. Oh my god. Yes. They should not. They why did that's that's pure entertainment. Yes, folks. I'm pouring me one. You know, don't judge. No judgment here. It's been a long day. You know what's in my cup? Man. And why? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm about to say, don't forget to re- un- unmute your mic when you. It's lemon water, folks. Lemon water. But yeah, um, Don was out ousted, um, after 17 years. That's crazy. Um, what do you think about that? What a long time. Yeah. What was the interview about? I don't. I don't understand why they were firing him. I don't, well, he was okay. I, I saw. I, I saw a post that D.L. Hughley put up said uh, <laughs> Tucker Carson was fired for lying. Don Lemon was fired for telling the truth. <laughs> so, but on both, right? I could totally see that. He checked somebody. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this this clip. Here it is. And they didn't like the check. Here it is. Today, compared to 1960, with due respect, I find I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, that please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. He's, he's so, uh, talking hang to on one second. Producers. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Black Amendment rights had, were secured. They were not fact. secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because Black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War. And that things turned around. People would, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the final... The NRA did the, not play a big role in that. Train black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's at, not. The NRA actually, did not play a big role. This in is just historical fact. No. It's not a historical the, fact. The, the part that I just find because you say it's historical. The fact part that I find insulting fact. is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through that I civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's and where I you and I have the freedoms that black and white that black people don't have in this country and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here. It gets ugly at the very, very you end. You are explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you. like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. On the content of the ideas. If you do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? We appreciate you coming With due respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. Thank you. The conversation. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Papa. We'll talk about China. Yes, does talk about China. Time you come back. Oh, thank you. Much to say on declaring independence from China. Okay, something you can add on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> can we move on now, please. <laughs> Yo, your face. <laughs> Did this mother? Yo. Now, what's you know what's funny about that? Did he say? Correct me if I'm wrong. Did that mofo <laughs> literally say that 
our rights were secured after the Civil War? Yes. We know that's incorrect. What's curious? And that's why the Lemon got fired. Well, allegedly, I don't think. I'm sure it was something else. There was some other. There was some other. He was. I mean, he was recently like. Uh, there was some. No. There was some melee with Don Lemon um, recently. You know what I'm saying? So, and um, he, 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 what what was he said about the? Who was the woman? He said that she was like past her prime. Something along them lines. Yeah, like I don't know. Oh, that's right. Okay, folks. I you know, I don't watch the news. Here's the funny thing, people. A lot of things we're gonna be talking about today. Ivory is just, just finding out just now. Like, oh my god, I didn't know Jesse died. <laughs> oh my god, ain't nobody tell me. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this this here. Um, this here. But when I do watch the, the bottles fly, uh, they don't mention the bottles in the article. In the article, you read five pages, there's no mention of the bottles flying. Mm -hmm. I saw the bottle fly. You know when the bottle flew? After the cops told me they gonna blow my effing he head off. Okay. After the cops, I'm not done. After the cops put on riot gear, put up their they, they shields, and took their batons out and lined up on the streets. And then when they got in the position, a bottle comes out of a peaceful protest? That don't make no okay. sense. So what I'm saying is the headline should say, it's common to the cops okay. agitated the people. Can I talk? And that's what the headline should read. Okay, so. That, that whole exchange sounded a lot like the exchange that him and Talib Kweli had. The, can I can I speak? Can I finish talking? <laughs> the whole back Wait, Don Lemon and Talib Kweli. Yeah, yeah, that was that was back um, during the uh, Ferguson protest. Oh, that's when I stopped watching the news. Oh, yeah, but I couldn't. It was too stressful. Notice, people. Um, we we haven't talked about uh, Tucker Carlson being for because we really don't give a damn. We don't care. And I, I don't wish joblessness on anyone, but he's quite all right financially. I'm sure he got enough bow ties that he could sell. He's a clown. That's fine. He's a straight clown. I, 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 you know, but he was highly rated. But here's the funny thing: so, um, him being fired is is it's curiously close to. I mean, soon after Fox did a, that settlement with Dominion. For almost right. was it, eight hundred million dollars, million dollars, eight hundred million, and they got another defamation. U.S. Lawsuit. not pesos, right? <laughs> right, and they got another defamation lawsuit. Fox News does that's coming up. They're mm -hmm. gonna pay, and and that I, I, it's the what other the, I forget the name of the other company, but um, they're like we're not. I'm so that. upset that they don't have to apologize, apologize. on here. No, they wanted the, the other the other lawsuit. They want an apology. They want a retraction. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're not going to yeah. settle for anything less than the 800. So they going for their neck. The precedence has been set. Oh yeah, yeah. So somebody, somebody's uh, because that foolishness and hate that they spew on that station is so sad. I I don't know how people watch it. Really, it's sad because it's not. I, and and how do they really classify themselves as news when that? It's more and and for the this it's lies they tell it's lies. There's people. I feel so bad because it's people like I bet that I get a lot of my news from social media. I bet that I do. Mm -hmm. I bet the man who shot that young boy through the glass door when he came to the wrong door. Right. And I bet the man was shot into a car in New York State right. and killed that young lady and they didn't even get out the car. They just went into the wrong driveway. I bet, I'm willing to bet money That's they fought, they watch Fox. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, well, aside from that, what is wrong with people? Like just, it's the, sad. just open fire? You just open, mm -hmm. you just open fire Cause somebody knocked on your door. Like what? Who were you expecting? What was you thinking? Like because it's television programming. 
and they have programmed their minds to think that somebody is after them. Yeah, the boogeyman. And don't nobody even care. And the big black, big black boogeyman. That's a shame. Yeah. I, mm, I know one thing. I, uh, uh, that little girl that got shot in New York, she was white. Yeah. Right. They didn't care. I wonder if any of her friends were black. She didn't. They didn't care. They didn't care who was in the car. He just shot straight into the car, and that is so sad. Yeah. Um. That's why I don't watch the news. It get me mad. <laughs> I start cussing. You, well, cussing is okay. It you know keeps uh you know. Well, I don't want to cuss on YouTube. Well, we 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 can't we we can cuss. I just it, it, I said mofos. Mofos. That was that was really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mike, Mike appreciates you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man's laugh. You gotta get a kick out of that when you see this. Um, other sad news. Um, uh, on other news that um we all found out today, but Ivory found out um just now. Um, rest in peace to Harry Belafonte at yes. ninety six. Now you have some history. I, I, you said you had some I was, history. Yeah, I was saying I wanna I wanna check on my husband's grandmother because she used to sing with Harry Belafonte. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. She's 92 And she was part of a group called The Cooper Sisters Oh wow It was her and her two sisters And they were gorgeous back in the day baby I am sure they're gorgeous She still can hold it over baby She can still blow Yeah Oh wow Did she, now, Have you ever Did she ever tell you any stories? No not really I mean back in those days Her husband was her manager Okay The manager of the group So he kept them away from you know, yeah. Got it. Smart man, because you yeah. know Harry Belafonte was knocking them down back in the day. Yeah, I, she I, does have stories about them playing cards at Nat King Cole's house. Mm -hmm. She did. She did tell me that, but I think Nat King Cole used to have card parties at his house. Okay. I, 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 there is a story. This is con completely disconnected. It's a back in the day story, and I don't have the details for it. I heard so. This is like second hand, third hand. Shout out to uh, uh, Miss Jonesy. Jo what up, Jonesy? I heard on the, what up, Jonesy? I heard her on the, on the radio this morning talking about because okay, well, she, it's, it, it was about um, Marvin Gaye. Um. <laughs> uh, there's a lawsuit going on with Marvin Gaye with uh, Ed Sheeran and and Marvin Gaye, but I'll get into that in a second. But there's a there's a tell all book from one of Marvin Gaye's ex girlfriends or something. And the way I understand, again, I'm telling this secondhand, so I don't have the details in front of me. But she had, that okay. woman, that woman has since passed away, and <laughs> see um. She said something to the effect of like he started messing with her before his divorce was final. She got pregnant. Um, is it Nona Gay? That's that was who she had. That was her, her, her daughter. And the reason, you know, that uh, well, I forget the last that that alibi album he did was because his wife was, you know, his ex wife was like, oh, now you're gonna have babies on me, you know, and 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 got to him. But in any case. There's so much. Princess so Ivy Google's normal gay. Yo. <laughs> no, Google the tell all book. <laughs> Cause she said that uh Marvin Gaye was um oh boy, how did they spoke of uh what threesomes or foursomes and and there were some some names, some notable names um mentioned in the book. You know what? I'm not doing this any justice. After the dance. There it is. Yes. Yes, that's it. Baby, if my mother was still alive. Oh, this me juicy. I'd have to buy the book. This is this is the audio message I got from Jonesy this morning. Cause I called I, I hit her when I when she was talking about the story, because I'm laughing hard at the at, at the stuff that she was talking about that's in this book. Listen. Listen, 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 Tyrants. I cannot. I said <laughs> She said, 
He had Frankie Beverly crawl out the hotel, the adjoining hotel room on all fours. I can't go in the Tom Joyner cruise no more. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about scandalous, yo. This is, so. I, now let me tell you why I believe that. Why? Uh oh, oh boy, you know something, yo. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, please, 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 uh, please share. <laughs> Come on now, don't hold it. What you know? Come on, I spell. Okay. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of ex-husbands. <laughs> I have two. I have two ex-husbands. I have two ex-husbands. Okay, okay. And my second ex-husband was business partners with a man mm -hmm. named Donald. God rest his soul. Okay. Donald has been around the entertainment industry for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. And Donald was an openly gay man. Okay. And Donald has told me stories about Frankie Beverly and some other people. Uh, and so that's why I could believe uh, what? That, that story about Frankie Beverly. Hold, hold. Some very freaky stories. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I I can believe that. Very freaky stories. Okay, you're not at liberty to give any. Uh, because Donald just passed on. Okay. And so I. Mm. Okay, so can I read between the lines here? Um, allegedly. Allegedly, that's a great word. Allegedly. Um, a Beverly, a, a, a person of of Beverly influence, was someone who all, was, is known to wear a white hat. Right, right, right. Um, was flipping and a flopping back in the day. Okay, and that'll it is it. what it is. That'll do it for me on that one. I don't say no more. Wow, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> In the words of Rick James. <laughs> Rick James, bitch. God rest your soul. Yeah. So so back to um Marvin Gaye and Ed Sheeran. So that, that trial started recently, this week. Um so are you familiar with this at all, Ivory? No. Ooh. So um I'm reading it right now. Okay, so he has this song called Thinking Out Loud. And Ed Sheeran the singer? Ed Sheeran. The redhead okay. has this song called yeah. Thinking Out Loud. Mm -hmm. And it's mm, very, well, you know what? Let me do this. I know YouTube is going to um, gonna love this for me. I'm, I'm probably going to have to blank this on YouTube. So, uh, so be it. But if you know the song, you know where I'm going with this. This is Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. I should just play the, the two. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Look at Ivy's face. I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth you hear this riff? The taste of my love. Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Get to it. Darling, I. Will be loving you till I know that song. What song is that? Come on, you know it. And rhythm. Refusing to compare the two works, the majority of, let's see, melody, rhythms, harmonies, drums, E flat major, and thinking out loud is in D major. Let's take a listen. That's thinking out loud. Oh! That's yeah for so long. Yes, that is. Could still fool us. Heart at 23. And this you feel like I feel. Like I feel. 
human. Ed mm-hmm. Sheeran didn't learn from Robin Thick. Let's get it on. He didn't learn from Robin Thick. Yeah, the, the Marvin Gaye estate will come for you. The, uh, the, the, yo. They pop up the shits. Listen, Robin Thick's asshole hemorrhages money every time you say the name Marvin around him Indeed. right now. He got him for every. <laughs> they got him for everything. That's on Except them. his mass thing of money. Blur lines got to give it up. They got him good. It was in court. Like I, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think about that. No, it's not really the same. But man, really, and Sharon ain't learned from that. They ain't learned that happened way before this song came out, and they still went ahead and did it. Like yeah, we, yeah, it'd be all right. Man, who produced the song though? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they go, but they going after Ed Sharon. That, like Robin Thicke didn't produce Blurred Lines this and is true. they went after Robin Thicke and then they tried to put on a producer well it wasn't my idea uh, Pharrell came in there and was like yo I got an idea and he did it and uh, I was like oh it's good and uh, no it don't really sound like nothing I know uh, I didn't no, I didn't think of that okay pay up <laughs> they got everything well they gonna get it on now man he got. He gonna have to give it up. <laughs> I'm here all week, people. <laughs> um, also, um, in 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 um, sad news. Well, not so sad. Um, uh, still, prayers go out to uh, Jamie Fox. I think. Um, oh my God! You've heard about. I don't know. So I, I don't. Oh, man. I don't know exactly. Uh, well, there's rumors of what happened, and I don't want to speak on rumors. I don't want to say what the rumor. Because none of us know, is, right? We don't know. But, no one's come out with an official statement. But we do know he's. But just the fact that he needs prayers. Yeah, it's enough. They say he's Jimmy Fox is one of the coolest ever. Man, and <laughs> really, really, really. I mean, I don't want to say a hood dude. Not really like a hood dude, but you know he. No, but he is. Yeah, you you get what I'm saying. He's a refined. I would say he's a refined hood dude. No, not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In front of cameras. <laughs> he's a cool hood dude, though. Cool hood dude. He's straight. You know what I mean? Um, but mm-hmm. he's a, but for what I understand now, he he is awake and he's doing better. So um, I'm so grateful for that. Press. But do you see that they put in a body double for him for the movie? Yo, and that's the. That, if that's not the biggest motivation to take your vacation time, that's it. If that's not the biggest motivation of your job, take your vacation time, man. Everyone, serious. Now you know we've been in radio long enough. It was. I think what they said was like eight days. They was like, okay, we gotta get back to work. It got a body double. So. They got a body double, and I had to do a double take because he kind of do look like Jamie. I mean, I, I I understand the show must go on, but and, <clears throat> that sucks. <laughs> would would they have done that if it was somebody like Tom Hanks? I, I don't know. I think Tom Hanks probably has a clone somewhere that, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> they wouldn't have done that to Forrest. Forrest Gump. They wouldn't have done it. No. And I'm just using that as an example. I just don't think that they would have done that to any actor hmm. that was that was not brown skin. I hear you on that. Um, I don't think they would have. Not that soon. Not so soon. No, not so soon. I don't mm-hmm. think. Um, I don't think it would have happened that quick. No, I think I'm with you on that. But hey, mm-hmm. folks. And I'm not mad because the show must go on. Yeah. There is money on the line. I get it. But give the man an opportunity to heal and maybe come back to his role. Because we don't know. Maybe they know things that we don't know. Yeah, well. It's still it's still but I stand with Jamie. <laughs> it's still feel messed up. Are we going to see that movie when it comes out? Mm, I don't know. It depends on what the movie is. I mean, it's Jamie Foxx. 
I, I halfway Jamie Foxx. <laughs> right. Um. So are we going to patronize? Right. I, I think so. As a community, I think we're going to go just to be nosy to see how the body double pulls it off. <laughs> That's what I think. I, yeah, I'm. I'm curious. I'm curious. I I, mean, I got to see if it's something I'm interested in seeing though. I mean, I support Jamie Foxx movies. I'm in just I'm interested genuinely. But I love Jamie. You know, it depends on what the what the situation is. Him and um, Morris Chestnut. <laughs> when I they were always like, when you come to L.A., let us know. You know, and when I got to L.A., I reached out. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to David Brown, D Brown, and the building. <laughs> um, before we break out, I, so there's um finally the uh, announcement from our, our, our current president, uh, uh, Joe Biden, said that he's uh, running for re-election. Um, I'm gonna get your take on uh, how you feel about this. He is. Freedom, personal freedom, is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally and that everyone is given a fair shot at making it. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. Cutting Social Security that you paid for your entire life while cutting taxes for the very wealthy. Dictating what healthcare decisions women can make. Banning books and telling people who they can love. All while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. This thing is more like, let's finish the job is what he's... You know when what I, mean? I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America, and we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. Hmm. That's why I'm running for re-election. Because I know America. I know we're good and decent people. I know we're still a country that believes in honesty and respect and treating each other with dignity. That we're a nation where we give hate no safe harbor. We believe that everyone is equal, that everyone should be given a fair shot to succeed in this country. Okay. What you think? Who running against them? Uh... Can we just bring Obama back? I wish. That's my president for Elma. Michelle, can we bring Michelle in? Ooh. You know she I'm wrecked. Trying, you know, you know she ain't trying to she ain't trying to be She ain't. She ain't trying to see the house no more. She ain't. My um let me see. If can I do It's <clears throat> a sad day. My um my uh Biden. Let me see. I'm just I'm just trying this for the first time. <clears throat> Go for it. Uh uh Honesty. That's what this country needs. And uh I'm running. Again. I can't promise you I won't shit my pants. But I can You've promise- talked too long without falling asleep. <laughs> I can't, but I can promise you. It won't get in the way of progress. Shit your pants, 2024. He didn't shit his pants. You can't tell That me. was Trump. <laughs> no, no. He pissed in the bed. That was Trump. Or got pissed He shit his pants too. Uh, yeah, well. This pictures. This on the pictures? golf course. Really? Oh. Yeah. Now, Favorite place on the golf course. Uh, now, I, you know what I say about, you know, there's the funny thing, not funny. I, 
I see. I actually like Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I, I don't. I don't have a. I don't have a. Other than his age, which is very ageist, I, I hate to even say it like that. Um, I can't say the age is the issue because for me, I wanted Bernie. Really? Yep. I don't think that uh, age is not necessarily the problem. I mean, I I, I think he, what is he 70, 76, 77? Well, he'll be seventy. Whatever it is, he's in his he's he's in his mid to upper seventies. Um, I don't, I don't think that's an, I don't, I don't think that's really an issue, but that's the issue that people are, are pointing How old to is Joe Biden? <laughs> 80 years old. He's not 80. 80. He's 80? 80. I put it in the Googler. In the Googler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you, you, you know, here come the, the super, the super, uh, I, and I hate to even use the word woke because I know it means I, I know it means a, a, a good thing. But then there's, you know, there, there's uh, people in this country that have taken that is ta- that have taken over the woke movement, have <laughs> made it into something else. But the, you know, mm-hmm. the, the super, un, you know, the super knowledgeable, not really political, all in, you know, uh, uh, conspiracy theorists, this, that and, uh, and the third, you know are like, well, what's the third option? Third option is throwing away your vote. You're going to vote for somebody that has no oh. chance of winning. Okay. That's, how, I mean, that's, and that's, that's the real. Especially, the I mean, person I pray has no chance of winning is Trump. That's who I hope. I hope he's in jail. I, he's, his indictment is already, he's already been indicted. Those court cases ain't going away. The, I think the, the the trial and everything may be actually may actually be running along with re-election. He's not and he's not gonna pull out of, he's not gonna pull out. I think it's so sad the way he has swindled so many people out of their money. Well, he's, I mean How are you gonna be a billionaire and you're gonna ask the American people to donate money for your legal fees? Listen, you are a New Yorker. You're from New York City. We he ain't got as much money as we knew he was a scammer in front of me. We know. Nobody listen to me. Yeah, we knew who we New York is. New, New York knew who he was. What he was from the giddy up. You know what I mean? It we ain't never like of, him. It was the rest of the country that watched him on TV and believed the persona they saw on mm-hmm. on uh, what was it called? The, the Apprentice. They believed that yep. persona. Um, when, but you know, he didn't talk much on The Apprentice. Did you notice that? Because if they would have let him talk, I never watched that show. I never watched it. Never watched. It. I never watched it either. No. But I, you know when you scanning channels and you. I've never watched. Everybody it. else did all the talking. Well, I mean, because it was yeah, it wasn't really a, it was he it was presenting him like he was the boss, like you the you know mm-hmm. Don Corleone, you know, you know genius figure, but and the. the <laughs> I hate talking about this dude, but the so let's move on. It's yeah, fine. yeah, it's it's it's. I too she gets nothing. Am hoping that there's some convictions and that he ends up, you know, in. Uh, I hope he goes to Rikers. Oh no, he's fed. He won't go to fed Rikers. I mean, it's New York. <laughs> Put him in general population. General pop. Can you imagine? Please, yeah. Hey, Please and thank you. Take them shoes off, homie. I don't ask for much. Hey, man, what you Please. doing? What what size are those? <laughs> Run them. <laughs> Run them. <laughs> you imagine that? <laughs> you gonna eat your cornbread? <laughs> Bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> say, say good. Yo, Ivory, it has been an absolute pleasure um, having you on here with us, man. Like, This has been fun. Can we do it again? Absolutely. I'll come back. Absolutely. Absolutely, folks. Um, I'm going to so, get my mic to work this time. Yeah, I will, that would be nice. It's, it's a good prop in front of the camera, but, you know. It does, we, right? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Tell everybody where they can find you. Princess Ivory on all social media. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so it's at, and I, I B O R I almost got sued for that Y back in the day. Ivory Soap didn't want to have anything to do with rap music. Wow. And they went threatened to sue me. So I had to change the spelling of my name. I V O R I. It works though. Mm -hmm, it does. And check out my website, princessglamshop.com. Yes. I sell jewelry. I'm an entrepreneur. She's entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur mom. Entrepreneur. Can I say that? <laughs> That works. That works. Hey, folks, we appreciate you watching. Appreciate you listening. Um, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe, comment. We want to hear what you got to say about some of these comments, these things we were talking about, what you feel about it. Let us know, and um, we'll see you on the flip side. Peace.